What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. This is our watch list for Friday, August 19th. It's Lotto Friday. Thank you guys for being here. If you are struggling with the strat, struggling with trading, if you're new to trading, you're new to the channel, everything we do, everything we teach here guys is going to completely change the way that you guys trade in the stock market. Okay, but the very first thing I need you to do is go down, click that subscribe button, and then hit that bell. That bell is the most important part. It sends the notifications directly to you when I send out videos just like this one every single day. Like I said, this is our Lotto Friday watch list for August 19th. Get ready for it. If you're looking for learning tool gu tools, guys, for the strat or just trading in general, this channel has everything you need. 300 plus videos for you guys to run through and learn how to trade more profitably, more consistently, how to trade the strat in general. We're going to change the way that you guys trade in the stock market. This is by far the easiest way to trade in the stock market that I have ever come across. I'm on Twitter. If you're there, you can follow me at Mr. Clark Griswold. I have a DM. You can DM me there. Ask me questions. Tweet at me. I send out tweets throughout the day on different setups, different plays. You can do the same thing down below. If you have questions about the video or any of my videos, leave a heart, leave a question down below. Let me know if you like the videos. Leave that in the comments below. Let me know if you hate the videos. Leave that in the comments below. Let me know if you made profit on something. Leave that as a comment in the videos below in the comments. You can do the same thing in my Discord. Get in that Discord. There's a link in the description below. That Discord has a bunch of rooms for you guys. There's a spy room. There's a trading room. It's fairly active. There's a lot of guys talking on there, chatting, talking about different setups. I also have live trading bots that are part of the Griswold Strat, Griswold Gold membership. Um, I have a Griswold Strat indicator for TradingView. You can find it there. The link to purchase that $25 one-time fee. We'll go through it here. There's also a link in the description below. Let's get through a few things and then we'll get hammered through on this list, guys. Number one on the list, TradingView. This trading platform, the screen that you look at, that is what I use to chart everything that I use. If you are looking for something like this, there's a link in the description below. It will give you a free 30-day trial to their subscription services. I think they have three of them. You can pick one. You get it free for 30 days. Click on that link in the description below. Free 30-day trial. And then if you decide to use the subscription, you get up to $30 off depending on which one you choose. I have the Pro Plus. That's what I use personally. I really like TradingView. Um, what else? The ads. I know the ads suck, guys. They're terrible. They're annoying. It's the same stuff over and over again. But those ads, the advertisers who put those ads on there pay to keep this stuff free for you guys. So as a thank you back to me, I ask that you guys let those ads roll through. For the videos that I put out for you guys, I don't charge you guys anything for any of these videos. Okay, Let those ads roll through. That's how you can show appreciation and a thank you. And I do appreciate that if you guys put them through. Um, and I thank you in advance. And I think we can get started on this list now. All right, so let's get started on this list. First on the list is Spy. So <laughs> CyberDog, Jermaine has been talking about this for, I don't know, the last few days. How an inside bar is an actionable signal when we're talking about the strat. Inside bar or a one bar. Let's talk about these inside bars because if you're new, you need to know this. Everybody who follows me and has been following me for a long, long time knows all about the inside bars and what I think about them. But for the newcomers, let's go through the inside bars. So an inside bar, you notice it's painted yellow. It is painted yellow because I've got this right here, the Griswold Strat. You cannot find it in your indicator tab. It is in the description below or in the Discord, like I said before. It paints the inside bars yellow for you guys. It also gives you this time frame continuity. It also gives you these candlestick numbers and a bunch of other things. Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rules. There's that dotted blue line. That's the 50% rule on the day. There's the purple one for the week. Okay, there's also one for the month. Okay, but inside bars, when you see these yellow bars, after you purchase that indicator and you see these yellow bars, I want you guys to think of those yellow bars as a spring or, or something that's getting 
spring loaded, something that's getting loaded and compacted. And when you let it go, it explodes to one direction or the other, because that is what we look for off of inside bars. It's a consolidating range. It's a tightening range. Okay. It does not break the high. It does not break the low of the previous candle. It stays within that range. So when we go back in time to look at past inside bars to see how they react off of the following day, you can see we have big runs down there. Okay. Let's zoom out and see what else we have. Here's another big drop down off of the inside bar. Okay. Another big drop down off of the inside bar, a nice run up off of the inside bar. Okay. So spy works really well. This is a three, one setup. Here's another one gap down off of the inside bar. Okay. Spy works really, really well. It looks like off of these inside bars. So here's one we open, we trigger and we hit targets. Here's another one up trigger targets and a little bit more. So that's what we look for. And I go back in time to show you that they don't always work. It's not foolproof. It's not a hundred percent guys. People are asking me, people ask me on one-on-ones or when I do the one-on-ones or when I have, you know, group chats, people, or even just like messages back and forth in the DMS, people are asking me, you know, how do I, when this doesn't work out and it, it, you know, let me show you a box here real quick. And I'll show you what I, what I'm trying to get at here. They're wondering what happens when it does this. Okay. And then it reverses on them. So we open up and we come up and we come back down. And I think somebody in the discord might've said, sometimes, sometimes that happens and I, and I lose on my trade guys. Sometimes you're going to lose on a trade. This strategy, the strat is it's not a hundred percent foolproof. You are not going to win a hundred percent of your trades. I know there's one guy that's really, really close, uh, who trades one minute, one minute bars, but you're not going to win a hundred percent of your trade. You just, you can't do it. You can't. And that's why we have our stop losses in place. Go check out any of my review videos, my trade review videos, especially the newer ones. I'll, I walk you guys through the trades on how to get in and where you should get out and how to get out, even if you're not hitting your targets. Okay. So again, you're not always going to win these trades and that's okay. And that's something you have to realize that you're not going to win every trade. And sometimes they don't work out and you just, you try it on the next one. Okay. And we play probabilities with the strat and probabilities on this. Tell us that if we trigger to the upside, we have a really good opportunity to hit this target. And time frame continuity also tells us if we trigger to the upside, we have a really good opportunity to hit our targets. We can take this as a two, one, two continuation as well. If it triggers to the downside and we can take puts at 425.52, or we can take the calls at 428.60. It doesn't matter. Okay. What matters is we get in when it triggers and we get out when we hit profits, when we hit targets or when it reverses on us. That's, that's the important part. Um, mitigate your risk. Okay. Maintain your capital and, and you'll be successful. So that's spy. I'll be watching spy the closest, uh, tomorrow for sure. I want to show you something here on, not necessarily on BAC, but just in general. So BAC has a two down that finished green. Okay. That means we only broke the bottom side of the previous bar and it was a two down, but we did finish green. So when we have these, this color doesn't matter. This could be a two down red and we could still reverse to the upside. But when it's green, it just gives you a higher probability that we are looking to trend back to the upside. And again, it doesn't always happen. We'll put a first target in there. And you notice the time frame continuity right across the board is all green. So we are looking at a really high probability trade here that this works out for us. Now, somebody asked me, how many trades do you look at? Do you set, um, do you set targets, uh, alerts on all of them? No, I don't. But if you want to set alerts on these guys, do not set your alert at the trigger because it'll be too late then. Okay. If you're looking at something else and it triggers and you're like, Oh, it triggered. I better, I better go over. It's too late. Okay. So what I want you guys to do, this one's 3640. Look, put your trigger or your alert, sorry. That's not working. Put your alert. here and we just make this BAC regular 
crossing 36 28 only once actually moving uh, crossing up that's what we want to do crossing up so if we're not looking at this play and then we just create it and then it puts this little orange line in here and you can move it up or down okay so we, let's say we move it right to there okay we'll move it there okay we'll save it that's how I would do your alerts so now your alerts at 3629 so as we're getting close to our trigger point and BAC is something that you really want to jump into, you can hop over to BAC, get ready, watch it to trigger, and then get into the trade when it triggers, okay? So that's how I would do it. I would not set alerts on every single one of these plays, okay? There's about 20 of them in here. I wouldn't do it. Um, I would set up the, the, the three or the five or whatever that you think are the highest priority or to have the best opportunity uh, to, to make a profitable trade. Okay, next one we're going to go into is Walmart, WMT, Walmart, inside bar. I was looking for Walmart to trend down today. It didn't. It stayed inside. So, again, we can look for puts here still at, what do we got, 138. 138.52 probably. That looks good. 138.52 or calls at 140.49, but I want it to. I want to try and see it fill this gap here. Now again, like I said yesterday, I don't think it fills this whole gap tomorrow. <laughs> it's not very likely. It's happened before. Look at look at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond the last three or four days, the run up and then the run down today, um, or even DraftKings the other day. It it has the opportunity to do that. Does it do it? I don't think so. But we're gonna play this to the downside. Uh, is what I think is most highly uh, probable at 138.52 puts, but we can play the calls at 140.49 as well. Okay, Mr. Softy, Microsoft is up next. Microsoft has a two down. Actually, we're going to take Microsoft off of there. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs inside bar on GS, full time frame continuity to the upside. We can look for calls at 134. 354.97. Sorry about that. And then puts it 350.71. Um, we are stuck in this. If you want to call that a mother bar, this big outside bar here. We're stuck trading in that. So we want to look to break out of that some way or another. Time frame continuity to the upside on GS. CRM inside bar. Double inside bar. It's a double rainbow. Who's seen that? Uh, that, that's about 10 years old, I think, the double rainbow, triple rainbow thing, YouTube video. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. It's kind of funny. Um, double inside bar on CRM. So two straight days of consolidation. Again, these double inside bars don't always work out. And you notice this blue highlight? That's from the Griswold Strat Indicator. It lets you know you've got double inside bars on your chart. You can go back in time and look at the last double inside bars. It highlights the 3-1 setups with these gold bars. Um, double inside bar on CRM. How far do we have to go back? This is, I don't even know if, man alive. I don't know. I'm not going that far back. <laughs> There's one right there. Okay. I found one. How did it do? Double inside bar, nice run up. Okay, it looked like it gapped just a bit. Gap just a bit. We had a nice run up. One, two, three targets hit. That, that was a good run off of that double inside bar. Uh, let's go back on to the next one, Nike. I think there's one more double inside bar in here. I don't remember where it is though. So Nike's got an inside bar as well. Nike doesn't have an inside bar. It's a two down green. Okay. My bad. Nike's inside bar was yesterday. So let's do that. Let's look for calls on Nike at $116.66. Wells Fargo, was this the double inside bar? WFC. There we go. Double inside bar, WFC. Okay. Calls at 46.20, puts at 45.76. 
Let's go back real quick. When was the last double inside bar? There it is. Inside bar, inside bar. Break and gone. Okay. Good win off of that double inside bar. The last time WFC had it, that's Wells Fargo. Look at that chart. I'm messing it up. There we go. Double inside bar. Let's move this target up to there. Okay. There we go. Next up, Apple. AAPL inside bar on the Apple. Calls at 174.90. Puts will bring down just a hair. A little bit more. Puts on Apple at 173. Keep going. 173.18. That's where we're taking our puts. I'd like to see this thing continue to trend up though. Adobe ADBE. Adobe's got an inside bar. Calls at 441.28. Puts at 437.42. BA. Boeing. Two down. Green. We're going to look for calls at 169.15. DIA. The Diamonds. Dow Jones Industrial ETF. Inside bar. Calls at 341.06. Puts at 338.88. Time frame continuity to the upside. We'll look for a push there on Friday. IWM inside bar hammer candle. We'll look for calls at 199.27. Puts at 196.99. We'll call it 197. Puts at 197. Inside bar. We can call that a hammer candle. We'll look again for I, I shares IWM to trend to the upside with the time frame continuity. Pinterest pins two down green. Hammer candle. Okay, I didn't set this one up. Let's do it together. Calls at 2266. And puts can get deleted. That's coming up just a bit. Let's put our targets in. Target 1 at 2298. Target 2, 2339. Okay. And there you have it. There's your setup for Pinterest. And guys, at the end of this video, there are more videos. There's a playlist lined up at the end, and there is another video if you guys want to check it out. If you have any issues with anything, go check out the videos that I've got lined up, okay? They are very helpful. They will help you learn. If you need answers to your questions, just ask. I am here to help. PayPal, two down green. We're going to look for calls at $100.65. Cents. What else do we got? QQQ. QQQ has an inside bar. Calls at 330.45. Puts at 326.75. Starbucks. I did not set this one up either. So let's do that one real quick. Starbucks has a two down finish green full time frame. Calls at 88.80. First targets. Marked out for you guys accordingly. Target. TGT. Target has an inside bar. So calls at 175.11, puts at 171.60. Target's marked out for you. And Tesla, TSLA, Tesla, my Tesla, calls on the inside bar on Tesla at 919.84, puts at 905.04. You got to watch out for Tesla high premiums uh, for small accounts. So this is something for people with bigger accounts for the most part. Guys, that's it. If you like the videos, make sure you're hearting down below. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter. Get in on that Discord. Get the Griswold Stride Indicator. You can join the Griswold Gold Membership for live trading. The live trading bots. You guys want something on those bots? Let me know. I'll put them on there for you guys. And that's it. Good luck on Lotto Friday, guys. Risk assessment. Risk management. That's how you win your trades. Okay? Good luck. And we will see you guys all in the next one. Have a great weekend. And bye-bye.